second attack be stopped. Furious efforts to head off battle with Syria in the hours before the president speaks to the nation. Elizabeth Palmer in Damascus, Major Garrett at the White House. We'll have interviews with Syrian President Assad, with President Obama, and with lawmakers facing hostile reaction back home. I wake up in the middle of the night worrying about this. We asked the average person in a CBS News poll, 61% told us they oppose a military strike. Only 30% would support one. The Senate today put off indefinitely a vote on a military strike authorization. The House won't vote until after the Senate. To get a sense of the pressure on Congress, we sat down today with four members of the House. Democrats Joaquin Castro of Texas and Zoe Lofgren of California, and Republican, Republicans Jeb Henserling of Texas and Scott Perry of Pennsylvania. Why do you believe that the American people are so against this? I think the American people know painfully from recent history that it's much easier to get into one of these conflicts uh, than it is to get out of one of these conflicts. And I think the American people are studying this issue carefully and they know it's very hard to find people uh, who wear the white hats uh, in Syria. People don't want another war in the Middle East. Uh, they think that the use of chemical weapons is wrong, but they don't know why the United States would be acting by ourselves to do something about it. Let me ask this question about the President's address to the nation tonight. What would he need to say, do you believe, to change the opinions of the American people, change your opinions on all of this? Well, he needs to squarely address the viability of this diplomatic proposal uh, and the Russia alternative. Uh, and I think that he also needs to give confidence to the American people that if we do take military action, that it's not going to be a protracted war. Uh, people are very nervous about that for many reasons. What he does have to convince me of, and the people of the 5th Congressional District of Texas, is that there is an imminent threat to the security interest of the United States uh, of America. Also, how is this small strike going to degrade them substantially? Isn't Assad already desperate? And if he's already desperate enough to use chemical weapons, wouldn't this make him more desperate? What happens to the chemical weapons after the fact? And if we're just going to target delivery systems, aren't the Russians right there to deliver more delivery systems is, of these chemical weapons? You know, I wonder as you wrestle with this issue and you hear from your constituents whether this seems to you like a historic moment, one of those things that transcends party politics. You know, I wake up in the middle of the night worrying about this, and I remember uh, when we were fundraising for the World War II Memorial, Senator Dole saying that when he went down to World War II, nobody asked to see his voting registration card. This is something that's about America. It's not about Democrats or Republicans. Yeah, these are huge decisions that really can change the course of not only a, a nation, but the world. And so you have to be very mindful. We want to support the president. We want to support America. And, uh, and you don't take that, uh, that charge lightly.